In today's video, we're going to be making some ampules. I will also be doing a giveaway at the end of this video, so make sure to check that out. I have always been fascinated by making my own ampules, and more recently in life, I have been able to. Ampules are small sealed glass vials that contain and preserve samples. You can make them by melting a borosilicate test tube and sealing it by melting and pulling. So in today's video, that's what we'll be doing. Plus, I'll give some good things to look out for. This video involves using a propane torch, which burns around 1200C or 2000 degrees Fahrenheit. Borosilicate glass can melt at this temperature, though you have to be patient. And it's really important you only attempt this on borosilicate glass because it's mainly made out of silica, which melts instead of instantly shatters like a glass test tube would. The first thing we'll do is to melt the bottom of the test tube. I saw Nile Red do this a while back, but I use my ring clamp as a guide for my test tube to make sure it's straight. I was having a ton of problems with my test tubes falling over because I just couldn't push down straight enough. Eventually, I used the bar of my ring clamp and got it to smush down nicely after a couple of tries. Next, we're going to seal the ampule, and to do that we need to heat up the sides. I rotate the test tube around slowly to get everything at least hot. After about 2 minutes, I focus on one side of the test tube and use my pliers to gently pull at the top. Once hot enough, the test tube will start to stretch and you will feel the point in which you are fully able to stretch it. Overstretching it will seal the test tube or it will make the opening so small that you can't get the sample in. And understretching it will cause the sealing of the ampule to be challenging without heating up and potentially damaging the sample inside. After doing this a few times, I got the hang of it, but my first few times were absolutely awful. After this, I decided to fill each ampule with a 10% solution of sodium fluorescein. To do this, I add 4.5 milliliters of water into a test tube, followed by 5 milliliters of sodium fluorescein. If any gets stuck in the neck of the test tube, just use a small paper towel to get it out before proceeding. After this, we will turn on our torch again and just focus on the smallest part of the neck of the test tube. Once the two separate, the ampule should be sealed. The real trick here is to pull straight up. It is always important to let your ampules cool before you check it for a leak. The glass is still super hot and your sample will boil and the test tube could instantly crack or explode. Letting it cool down is extremely important. I've had a number of these ampules not fully sealed and checking it afterwards is important as well. To do this, I generally get a piece of paper towel and turn the ampule upside down and check for leaks. Luckily, this one didn't leak and it was a successful seal. These ampules I'm going to be giving away to my Patreon subscribers plus 5 lucky people. There will be a link below to enter the contest. The only requirement is that you are over 18 years of age and that you live in the US or Canada for shipping purposes. The contest will run for 10 days and after that I'll release the names of the winners on my next video, but I'll also email the winners for additional information. Thank you to all my Patreon subscribers, and thank you to my two new subscribers, Greg P. and Marcel J. I really appreciate all of the extra support that has been given over the last few months, so make sure to check your Patreon inboxes for some more information on the ampules. Here's a list of all the videos I have planned for the future. And until then, have a great rest of your day.